Good evening. This is All India Radio. I'm Anuja Kumar and with me is Purnima Samant Kadakoti with the evening news. The headlines. President Draupadi Murmu inaugurates new campus of Indian Institute of Information Technology, Dharwad. Prime Minister Narendra Modi departs for Japan to attend the funeral of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in Tokyo. Government setting up multi-state export house for promotion and export of agriculture products globally with the Amul brand, says Union Cooperation Minister Amit Shah. Peace-loving India should not be mistaken as being afraid of war, says Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh. Government to provide facility to apply for police clearance certificate services at all online post office passport seva kindras across the country. Ministry of Rural Development's Jal Doot app to capture water level of selected wells in a village across the country. Information and Broadcasting Ministry blocks 10 YouTube channels for spreading misinformation. National Testing Agency declares results of the common university entrance test postgraduate. Italy set to get its first woman Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni as her party Brothers of Italy won the national election. Nine-day long Navratri festival to worship Goddess Durga begins today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extends greetings to everyone. And now, the news in detail. President Draupadi Murmu inaugurated the new campus of the Indian Institute of Information Technology, or Triple IT, in Dharwar today, in Karnataka. Speaking on the occasion, the President emphasized the role knowledge society can play in making India a wish for guru when the new India will emerge. She said institutions like Triple IT can mold youngsters to be leaders who can drive research and innovation in the areas of computer science, data analytics, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, data science, digitalization, nanotechnology and biotechnology. She pointed out that the new national education policy introduced by the central government prepares the institutions of higher learning to adopt the best means to educate youngsters in the areas of research and innovation. She emphasized the need for India to play an important role in the fourth industrial revolution waiting to happen. Triple IT Dharwar will offer B-Tech now in the IT sector and will introduce M-Tech in the days to come. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has left for Tokyo tonight to participate in the state funeral of former Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. In a tweet today, Mr. Modi conveyed his heartfelt condolences to Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Mrs. Abe on behalf of all the Indians. The Prime Minister termed Shinzo Abe a dear friend and a great champion of India-Japan friendship. He said work will continue to further strengthen India-Japan relations as envisioned by Shinzo Abe. Briefing media in New Delhi on the visit, Foreign Secretary Vinay Mohan Quatra said the ceremony will be held at Budokan Arena, which will be followed by a greeting occasion at Akasaka Palace in Tokyo. He said representatives from over a hundred countries and more than 20 heads of state are expected to participate in the state funeral. These include Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and South Korean Prime Minister Han Dak Su. This visit by Prime Minister Modi will be an opportunity for him to honor the memory of former Prime Minister Abe, who he considered a dear friend and a great champion of India-Japan relationship. Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Abe have developed a personal bond of trust and friendship through their numerous buddhins and interactions spanning over a decade. Beginning from Prime Minister Modi's visit to Japan in 2007 as the then Chief Minister of Gujarat. Mr. Modi will meet his Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida during the visit. The Foreign Secretary said it will be an opportunity for the two leaders to reaffirm their commitment to further strengthening India-Japan special strategic and global partnership. Japan is one of the most trusted and valued strategic partners of India. The two sides are committed to strengthening bilateral partnership in key areas that include trade and investment, defense and security, climate change, health security, 
ഇൻഫ്രാസ്ട്രക്ചർ ഡിജിറ്റൽ സ്പേസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയൽ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് എനർജി ആൻഡ് ക്രിട്ടിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് എമർജിംഗ് ടെക്നോളജീസ് ആൻഡ് ഹ്യൂമൻ റിസോഴ്സസ് അമങ് അതേഴ്സ് ദർ ഇസ് എ ഡീപ് കൺവെർജൻസ് ഇൻ അവർ വിഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഡോ പെസഫിക് റീജൻ ആൻഡ് ദർ ഇസ് ക്ലോസ് കോഓപ്പറേഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ അവർ കൺട്രീസ് ഓൺ ഇഷ്യൂസ് ഓഫ് ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് Union Cooperation Minister Amit Shah said the government is setting up a multi-state export house for the promotion and export of agriculture products to the world market with the Amul brand. Addressing the Farmers Conference at Bavla in Ahmedabad district, the minister said the export house will focus on the promotion of organic products and will provide monetary benefits directly to the farmers. Mr Shah said under the leadership of primary agriculture cooperatives PACs which was once limited to lending money can now offer a variety of supply services Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh said India is a peace loving country but it should not be mistaken for being cowardly or afraid of war Raksha Mantri said this while felicitating today the families of the brave soldiers of the armed forces hailing from Himachal Pradesh who laid down their lives in the service of the nation. The felicitation ceremony was organized at Badoli in the Kangra district of the state. Raksha Mantri paid glowing tributes to the war heroes including the first recipient of Paramveer Chakra, Major Somnath Sharma in 1947, Brigadier Sher Jang Thapa, Mahavir Chakra 1948, Lieutenant Colonel Dhan Singh Thapa Paramveer Chakra 1962 Captain Vikram Batra Paramveer Chakra 1999 and Subedar Major Sanjay Kumar Paramveer Chakra in 1999 whose names are etched in the hearts of every Indian for their unmatched bravery and sacrifice Mr Rajnath Singh paid respects to the families of the war heroes stating that the country will forever be indebted to the sacrifices made by the valiant soldiers background religion and creed do not matter what matters is that our beloved tricolor continues to fly high he said raksha mantri asserted that india is the only country which has given the message of peace to the whole world and its military is respected across the globe for its bravery while maintaining that india has never attacked any country nor has it captured an inch of a foreign land he assured the nation that if any attempt is ever made to disturb the harmony in india a befitting reply will be given at a time when we were dealing with covid-19 along with the entire world we had to face the tension on the northern border with china the courage of our soldiers during the galwan incident proved that no matter how big the power is india will never bow down he said on the 2016 surgical strikes and 2019 bala court air strikes Rajnath Singh stated that India's new strategy against terrorism has broken the backs of those who try to hurt the unity and integrity of the nation. Raksha Mantri shed light on the government's unwavering resolve to make the country strong and atmanirbhar and the progress achieved due to the measures taken to realize the prime minister's vision. Earlier India was known as a defense importer. Today it is one of the top 25 defense exporters in the world. from about 900 crore rupees 8 years ago defense exports have crossed 13000 crore rupees we are hopeful that the defense exports will touch 35000 crore rupees by 2025 and the target of 2.7 lakh crore rupees worth of defense export sets for 2047 will be met he said rajnath singh added that the formation of the post of chief of defense staff and the setting of the Department of Military Affairs are some of the major reforms taken to bolster national security. The government has decided to include the facility to apply for police clearance certificate services at all online post office passport seva kendras across the country starting from Wednesday. The External Affairs Ministry said this will improve the citizens experience while availing passport related services. It said this step will significantly add to the availability of police clearance certificates appointment slots and at an earlier date the ministry said this will not only help indian citizens seeking employment abroad but also meet the demand for other police clearance certificates requirements such as education long term visa and emigration The Foreign Trade Policy 2015 to 20 has been extended for a further period of 6 months. The extension will come into effect from the 1st of next month. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry said the government had received requests from export promotion councils and leading exporters to extend the policy. 
The exporters and industry bodies had strongly urged the government to extend the policy in view of volatile global economic scenario and geopolitical situation. Science and Technology Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh has announced One Week, One Lab theme-based campaign to showcase the technological breakthroughs and innovations. The campaign will be held in each of the 37 Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR laboratories and institutes spread across the country. Addressing the first ever CSIR leadership meet in New Delhi, Dr. Singh said, the legacy of CSIR is built on the cumulative contribution of its several national laboratories and institutes. The Rural Development Ministry has a Jal Dooth app to capture the water level of selected wells in a village across the country. The app will be launched in New Delhi tomorrow. The Jal Dooth app will enable Gram Rojgar Sahayak to measure the water level of selected wells twice a year, pre-monsoon and post-monsoon. The Information and Broadcasting Ministry has banned and suspended 10 YouTube channels. Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur said these YouTube channels were spreading misinformation, trying to sabotage ties with friendly countries and detrimental to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country. He said Information and Broadcasting Ministry will take appropriate action against those who will try to spread misinformation in the future. सूचना प्रसारण मंत्रालय ने 10 YouTube चैनल्स पर प्रतिबंध भी लगाए हैं उनको सस्पेंड भी करवाया है क्योंकि लगातार देश के खिलाफ षड्यंत्र रच रहे थे देश को तोड़ने का प्रयास किया जा रहा था भय और भ्रम फैलाने का प्रयास किया जा रहा था और जो मित्र देश हैं उनके साथ भी संबंध खराब हो इस तरह का दुष्प्रचार किया जा रहा है इससे पहले भी 102 YouTube चैनल्स पर प्रतिबंध लगाया गया है उनको बंद किया गया है चाहे पांच ट्विटर अकाउंट्स हो चार फेसबुक अकाउंट्स हो तीन इंस्टाग्राम अकाउंट्स हो इनको भी पूर्व में बंद किया गया जो देश के खिलाफ जहर उगलते थे और देश को बांटने का काम करने का प्रयास करते थे जो इस तरह के प्रयास भविष्य में भी करेंगे उनके खिलाफ भी भारत सरकार का सूचना प्रसारण मंत्रालय समय समय पर कदम उठाता रहे the Information and Broadcasting Ministry has directed YouTube to block 45 YouTube videos from 10 YouTube channels. Union Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur has called upon the youth to put their efforts into nation building. He was addressing the youth festival organized by Nehru Yuva Kendra at Government Degree College Dhaliara in Kangra district on the first day of his visit to Himachal Pradesh today. Anurag Thakur said the youth can take the country to the summit development through the five resolutions given by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to the country. You are listening to the evening news on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. President Draupadi Murmu inaugurates new campus of Indian Institute of Information Technology, Dharbar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi departs for Japan to attend funeral of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in Tokyo. Government setting up multi-state export house for promotion and export of agriculture products globally with the Amul brand, says Union Cooperation Minister Amit Shah. Peace-loving India should not be mistaken as being afraid of war, says Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh. Government to provide facility to apply for police clearance certificate services at all online post office passport seva kendras across the country. Ministry of Rural Development's Jaldut app to capture water level of selected wells in a village across the country. Information and Broadcasting Ministry blocks 10 YouTube channels for spreading misinformation. National Testing Agency declares results of the Common University Entrance Test postgraduate. Italy is set to get its first woman Prime Minister, Giorgia Meloni, as a party, Brothers of Italy, won the national election. Nine-day-long Navratri festival to worship Goddess Durga begins today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extends greetings to everyone. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on Twitter handle at the rate AIR News Alerts. उपभोक्ताओं तक पहुंचने का सुलभ और सस्ता माध्यम है आकाशवाणी। आकाशवाणी के विभिन्न केंद्रों से कीजिए अपने उत्पादों और सेवाओं का प्रचार विज्ञापनों के माध्यम से। लोकल और राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर कीजिए अपने बिजनेस का विस्तार क्योंकि आकाशवाणी में विज्ञापन बुकिंग हुई बहुत ही आसान। अब घर, दफ्तर या दुकान पर बैठे-बैठे आप कर सकते हैं विज्ञापनों की बुकिंग। डायल कीजिए आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो नंबर एक बार फिर नोट करें आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो
प्रतियोगी परीक्षाओं की तैयारी करने वालों के लिए इस बार अभ्यास कार्यक्रम में विषय होगा पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इस सब्जेक्ट पर अपने सवाल आप हमें व्हाट्सएप करें नाइन पर या फिर आप ईमेल करें अभ्यास डॉट पर सवाल भेजने की अंतिम तारीख है 28 सितंबर आपका अभ्यास हमारा प्रयास वेलकम बैक टू द इवनिंग न्यूज ऑन ऑल इंडिया रेडियो फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन विल रिव्यू द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ क्रेडिट एंड अदर वेलफेयर स्कीम्स फॉर शेड्यूल कास्ट इन पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक्स इन न्यू डे रेट टुमारो द चेयरमैन ऑफ द नेशनल कमीशन फॉर शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड हेड्स ऑफ पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक्स एंड फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक सिडबी एंड नाबार्ड विल ऑल्सो अटेंड द मीटिंग ड्यूरिंग द मीटिंग द क्रेडिट गिवन टू पर्सन बिलोंगिंग टू द शेड्यूल कास्ट कम्युनिटी बाय द बैंक्स एज वेल एज वेरियस लोन स्कीम्स विल बी रिव्यूड Manipur Chief Minister N B Rain Singh inaugurated the Fly Big flight from Imphal to Tezu of Arunachal Pradesh at the Bir Tikendrajit International Airport today. The Imphal to Tezu Fly Big flight service has been commenced under the Udan scheme which is an initiative of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The newly launched flight service will fly to Tezu of Arunachal Pradesh and then to Guwahati. In Gujarat Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar and Election Commissioner Anup Chandra Pandey today reviewed the preparations for the upcoming assembly elections. The Election Commission EC team who is on a two day visit to Gujarat today held meetings with district election officers, SPs, IGs and DIGs to review the poll preparedness for smooth conduct of forthcoming assembly elections. In Jammu and Kashmir, senior politician Gulam Nabi Azad today announced the name of his party as Democratic Azad Party, stating that the Azad word in the party's name should not be connected with his name as it portrays that the party will be independent. AIR Jammu correspondent reports that Mr Azad also displayed the party flag having three colors, mustard, white and dark blue. addressing a press conference in jammu mr azad said there will be no autocracy in his party over the past 75 years since independence india's largest public service broadcaster all india radio has been the proverbial storyteller for crowds of people across the country all india radio is celebrating 75 years of freedom with a series azad bharat ki baat aakashwani ke sath It showcases the journey of India since independence in various walks of life through the storytelling of All India Radio. In today's episode we will bring you the story of Vocal for Local campaign which aims to build a self-reliant India. From an increased focus on Indian firms for public procurement to offering tax incentives to foreign and Indian companies for local manufacturing the government has raised its vocal for local pitch vocal for local has become the latest trending slogan which has emerged during the covid-19 pandemic the idea behind this movement finds its root in the swadeshi movement which was promoted by mahatma gandhi and popularized in 1905 during the indian independence struggle it was seen as a way to imbibe the feeling of nationalism and nationalistic pride among indians the aim of the vocal for local campaign is to promote local industries and consume local wherever possible so that the long term effects of an increase in demand can be used to develop the domestic industries and make them gradually self reliant economic analyst puneet jain says the pitch of vocal for local will help in the upscaling of production and eventually make india a manufacturing center for the world thereby aiding the country's aim to become a 5 trillion dollar economy by 2025 so government's campaign to boost manufacturing in india through its campaign vocal for local has actually many benefits it generates a lot of employment within the country and of course it helps us to manage our import and uh, reduce our dependence on other economy we need to uh, develop local industry these the small and medium enterprises which employ a lot of people they depend on local manufacturing on local companies which sell goods and services within india the main target of course is employment it also helps to generate revenues within india which will help us in managing the macroeconomic situation we have very strong domestic manufacturing base then we are also able to export those uh, goods and services to the other part of the world to become a 5 trillion dollar economy in 2023 years vocal for local gives unequivocal importance to the domestic industries 
and the small scale shops and stores. This movement can also be seen as an impetus to boost demand and hence to throw a lifeline to the small and marginal domestic industries which are struggling to survive in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. If demand shifts in favor of domestic companies, then the advantage is threefold. First, it will reduce dependence on foreign products and cut down on the import pressure. Second, it will give a fighting chance to domestic companies to survive through the crisis period. Third, it will place India in a strategic position to emerge as the new manufacturing center of the world. Also, the slogan, vocal for local, does not only mean that the products should be made in India, but the promotion of those products should take place so as to make those products competitive. During his Independence Day address in 2020, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, mindset of free India should be vocal for local. He raised a clarion call to the citizens of vocal for local, one of the most potent slogans the country has heard in the last 50 years. हम अपने लघु उद्योगों को सशक्त करेंगे हम सब लोकल के लिए वोकल बनेंगे और हम ज्यादा इनोवेट करेंगे एम्पावर करेंगे अपने युवाओं को महिलाओं को आदिवासियों दिव्यांगों को दलितों को गरीबों को गांव को पिछड़ों को हर किसी को आज भारत ने असाधारण गति से और संभव को संभव किया है इसी इच्छा शक्ति इसी लगन इसी जज्बे के साथ प्रत्येक भारतीय को आगे बढ़ना है इक्कीसवीं सदी का ये तीसरा दशक हमारे सपनों को पूरा करने का दशक होना चाहिए एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ दिस स्लोगन इज लोकल फॉर ग्लोबल दैट लोकल प्रोडक्ट इन इंडिया शुड हैव ग्लोबल अपील एंड रीच कम लेट्स मेक वोकल फॉर लोकल अ जीवन मंत्र एंड टेक अ कंट्री टू अनप्रेसिडेंटेड हाइट्स ड्यूरिंग दिस अमृत काल आजाद भारत की बात आकाशवाणी के साथ कैन बी एक्सेस्ड ऑन एट द रेट ए आई आर न्यूज अलर्ट ऑन ट्विटर न्यूज ऑन ए आई आर ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल न्यूज ऑन ए आई आर एप फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम हैंडल्स सो ट्यून इन टू ऑल इंडिया रेडियो न्यूज फॉर आजाद भारत की बात आकाशवाणी के साथ देशभर में तुम मचाए ज्ञान का ये उपहार मोबाइल पे आजादी क्वेस्ट आई आजादी का इतिहास डाउनलोड कर रहे आजादी क्वेस्ट ये लो जी तो ढेरो इनाम मौका पाए जुड़ने का रेडियो और टीवी के साथ सिर्फ खेल नहीं उत्सव है आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव है आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव है डाउनलोड करें आजादी क्वेस्ट ऐप और पाए ढेरो इनाम The National Testing Agency has declared the results of the Common University Entrance Test Postgraduate CUET PG this evening. Candidates can check and download their scorecards from the official website cuet.nta.nic.in or nta.ac.in. More than 6 lakh 7000 candidates had registered for the entrance test while around 3 lakh 34000 candidates appeared at the examination. The UGC has instructed universities to create a student friendly portal for admission through CUET PG score. Health Minister Dr Mansukh Mandviya has said there should be no space for fraud in Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Aarogya Yojana which aims to provide health care of the poorest from the society. He stressed the need to use all available technology tools to remove even the smallest scope for any fraud. Dr Mandviya said this at the closing day of the 2 day Aarogya Manthan 2022 in New Delhi today. Over 217 crore 68 lakh covid-19 vaccine doses have been administered under the nationwide vaccination drive so far during the last 24 hours more than 11 lakh 67000 doses were administered while around 5000 people recovered currently the recovery rate stands at 98.72% In Uttar Pradesh at least 10 devotees including 8 women and 2 children are killed in an accident in Itonja area of Lucknow district 37 others got injured in the mishap the incident took place at the Itonja Kumhravan road when the tractor trolley carrying 47 people skidded off and fell into the pond chief minister yogi adityanath has announced an excretion of 4 lakh rupees each for the deceased 
The Brothers of Italy has won the most votes in the national elections, looking set to deliver the country's first far-right-led government since World War II. It will also make Brothers leader, Giorgia Meloni, Italy's first woman premier, the near-final results showed today. South Korea and the United States began the first combined naval exercise near the peninsula in five years today. The drills come a day after nuclear-armed North Korea conducted another ballistic missile launch, the latest in its record-breaking blitz of weapons tests this year. Washington and Seoul's key security ally and stations about 28,500 troops in South Korea to protect it from the nuclear-armed North. In Russia, at least 13 people were killed, including five children, in a shooting at a school in the city of Izvizik in the central part of the country. Russia's investigative committee said in a statement on Telegram that 13 people were killed, including two security guards of the educational institution and two teachers, as well as five minors, adding that the attacker committed suicide. Navratri, the nine-day-long festival to worship Goddess Durga, begins today with religious fervor and gaiety. During Navratri, the nine forms of Goddess Durga are worshipped. On the first day, Devi Durga is worshipped as Shed. In Jammu and Kashmir, the Mata Vaishno Devi Shrine atop the Trikoot Hills in Riyasi district of Jammu Division is all decked up to welcome the pilgrims arriving for the nine-day Navratri festival. Over three lakh pilgrims from across the country and abroad are expected to visit the shrine during the festival. In view of this, the Sri Mata Vaishno Devi Shrine Board is putting in place all necessary arrangements including security to meet the heavy rush. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has greeted the nation on the occasion. In a tweet, he sought divine blessings from Ma Durga for the people. He hoped that everyone is happy and healthy and there is prosperity and brotherhood all around. The Sensex and the Nifty today witnessed losses of more than 1.5%, a report from the business desk. The Sensex plunged 954 points to close at 57,145. The Nifty also declined 311 points to end at 17,016. In the Forex market, the rupee depreciated 63 paise against the U.S. dollar to finish at all-time low level mainly due to strengthening of the U.S. currency. The domestic currency closed at 81 rupees and 62 paise against the American unit. At the multi-commodity exchange, gold futures for October was trading at 49,580 rupees per 10 grams. And oil prices fell for a second day on fears of low fuel demand from an expected global recession sparked by rising worldwide interest rates. In the intraday trade, Brent crude was trading at $85.35 per barrel. Nishit Kumar for AIR News. Now let us have a look at the weather forecast for tomorrow. National Capital Delhi is expected to have a partly cloudy sky. Mumbai is likely to experience rain or thunder showers towards afternoon or evening. Kolkata will have a partly cloudy sky with the possibility of moderate rain or thunderstorm. And Chennai is expected to have a generally cloudy sky with light rain. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. President Robdi Murmu inaugurates new campus of Indian Institute of Information Technology, Dharwar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi departs for Japan to attend the funeral of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in Tokyo. Government setting up multi-state export house for promotion and export of agriculture products globally with the Amul brand, says Union Cooperation Minister Amit Shah. Peace-loving India should not be mistaken as being afraid of war, says Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh. Government to provide facility to apply for police clearance certificate services at all online post office passport seva kendras across the country. Ministry of Rural Development's Jaldut app to capture water level of selected wells in a village across the country. Information and Broadcasting Ministry blocks 10 YouTube channels for spreading misinformation. National Testing Agency declares results of the Common University Entrance Test Postgraduate. Italy is set to get its first woman Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni as her party, Brothers of Italy, won the national election. 
Nine day long Navratri festival to worship Goddess Durga begins today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extends greetings to everyone. And with that, we end the evening news. Good night.